We begin in the Swiss Alpine town of Davos, where President Yoon Sake addressed the World Economic Forum on day six of his eight day two nation tour. He called for strengthening the resilience of global supply chains through international solidarity, describing it as one of the most urgent tasks facing the world today. Our presidential office, Bureau Chief Moon Gan Young, starts us off. President Yoon Suk Yeol on Thursday at this year's World Economic Forum taking place under the theme Cooperation in a Fragmented World. He identified economic uncertainty, geopolitical risks, social fragmentation, and the weakening of the multilateral trade system as some of the multiple crises facing the world today. For that, the South Korean leader appealed to his fellow world leaders to work together for a greater reciprocal solidarity and avoid a global fragmentation into rival blocks that could play havoc with supply chains. Pinpointing nuclear power generation and clean hydrogen as key means to tackle climate change and bolster energy security, Mr. Yoon stressed the importance of cooperation between those with great potential for green hydrogen production, such as the Middle East and Europe, and countries with advanced technologies in utilizing hydrogen, such as Korea and Japan. Addressing the digital divide also topped his agenda. Global digital 질서의 정립에 기여할 것입니다. 새로운 이슈를 해결하기 위한 원칙을 제시할 것입니다. President Yoon used his Davos debut to reaffirm his administration commitment to expanding nuclear power generation, reversing a previous phase-down policy as South Korea scrambles for ways to reach its net zero target. 원자력을 감축하려는 시도가 몇 년간 지속되어 온 탓에 원전의 이런 그 생태계들도 많이 힘들어졌습니다. 신재생 에너지에 대한 기술력을 강화하고 또 원전 원자력 발전을 좀더 확대 나가 생각을 가지고 있습니다. He also said it was easiest to build ties with countries that share the same universal values and that unwavering commitment to freedom is the most powerful response to crisis. However, on China, 체제가 다르거나 그 보편적 가치에 있어서의 많은 차이가 있는 국가들과의 관계를 배제하고 차단하는 그런 방식으로 운영될 것이 아니라 더 포용적이고 더 융합적인 그런 방식으로 운영돼야 된다고 생각합니다. The annual meeting of the World Economic Forum 2023 brought together leaders from government, businesses, and civil society for its first full-blown in-person gathering in three years due to the global pandemic. Mr. Yoon became the first South Korean president to address the Davos crowd since President Park Geun-hye delivered her special address back in 2014. Moon Geun-hye, Arirang News.